Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies. I am your host, Joe's Moore here, and I'd like to introduce myself real quick. You can find all my stuff on social media, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter under Zamora Gaming. And I would also like to note that we did add a support button for our podcast. So if you feel so generous as to donate some money monthly, you are able to by clicking the support button on the anchor link that we have posted to many places. So if you feel so generous again to do so, thank you very much. And if not, we, our podcasts are always free, so you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy them. Hey, those Gen 2 Pokemon don't pay for themselves, people. You got to <laughs> Come on. Help us out. You want a second season, do you? <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and let David introduce himself next. All right. I'm GS Kamikaze. You can find me on Twitch eventually and Facebook. I have a gaming page. Post live streams of BGC and draft battles. Uh, that's it. All right. How many uh, times are you going to say eventually for Twitch? I don't know, till I get there. <laughs> <laughs> until, he ha- until it happens, I guess. But let's go ahead and move on to Stuart. G'day, I'm Stuart. Uh, once again, down the land down under. Uh, don't do Twitch or YouTube, but you can follow me on Twitter, SJMills101, or I'll be hanging around PML, uh, StuDog101. That's me. Do you better run and better take cover? That's it. <laughs> I, <get> it. <laughs> I got it. All right. And I, my uh, Vegemite sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> he made us funny. Morgan already, damn it. I was actually just thinking <laughs> that because when he said I don't do Twitch or anything like that, I'm like, but you know what Morgan does? Crack. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> and sadly, due to uh, his, crack, to his crack duties. He cannot be with us tonight, so he's fine. He's just uh, selling crack, I guess. But next, <laughs> lastly but not leastly, we have Jesse. Yes, it is me, Jesse, your occasional commentator who has to be quiet sometimes. <laughs> because his woman has a whip and she'll use it. She yeah. uses it all the time. He tells me about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well... Uh, speaking of whips... <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> no denials. I didn't hear any denials. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's like, I mean, yeah, yeah, we it's use It's not because she's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Hi, honey. I, well, we did hear her yelling at him a second ago, so that was pretty funny. First thing I do yeah. when I get on is that... <laughs> he takes a whip just for getting on podcast. Come here, boy. <laughs> no, please stop. All right, and speaking of oppressors, that leads us to a perfect segue to Dragonite. Dragonite was oppressing all Pokemon in Gen 1 with his Thunder Wave rap set, which didn't allow his opponents to attack or anything like that. So what do you guys have to say about this freakishly beastly thing? Ah, oh, man, it's my favorite original Pokemon. It's your favorite of Gen 1? Like, top five, or top number one of Gen 1, yes. I, I always liked it on all my games. I always liked it, but I never used it because it just took so much EXP to evolve. Oh. So, Dragonite kind of struggled a little bit in the first gens, a couple of gens. It was a good bulky Pokemon, but the simple fact that I didn't have a good Dragon attack until Gen 3 kind of killed it because. Your only dragon move in Gen 1 was Dragon Rage, and in Gen 2 you got Outrage, which was... I, I don't even... I don't know if you could even get it on Dragonite, and then there was Dragon Breath. So it wasn't until you got Dragon Claw in Gen 3 that it was actually, oh hey, we've got a good, strong dragon move that works with it. Oh man, I used Outrage ridiculous. Like I would sweep the Elite Four with just Outrage over and over again for EXP. And even then... Um... Due to its 80 base speed and Gen 1 being all about speed, it wasn't doing anything without that Thunder Wave rap set. Hey, you that can use Twister? Nasty set. Your favorite dragon move? It was normal in Gen 1, believe it or not. I don't know if Twister was a move in Gen 1. 
I believe it was. Like, well, well, I remember Gen the little uh, like turn tornado it made. I believe it was in Gen One because Pidgey got it as well, and it was a normal type move. You know what? I'm gonna check right now. Do it! Do it! Do, do it, it! Do it! it do it! Do it! Okay. And while he's looking that up, who wants to talk about Dragonite's best anime fights? Ah, uh, in the scuffle of legends, it helped stop the uh, Groudon and Kyogre fight. That was one of the coolest ones I've seen. When? Lance used it. <clears throat> was it in the those side episodes on YouTube? No, it was Rage of uh, Rage. Oh, Lake of Rage stuff. What, how's that yeah. do with Kyogre and? No, 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 no. Bro. Yeah, you confused me because I was like Bruh. Rage of Innocence. Lance used it though. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm stupid. Rage of Innocence. <laughs> Lance used Dragonite to beat Red Gyarados. That Yay! Was one of the other there ones. you go. The Scuffle of Legends is the one with Kyogre and Groudon. Yeah, Twister wasn't a move in Gen One. Damn. No. I no, it is not. It was. It was not. Uh, I must be thinking Gen Two then. Graphics yeah, yeah. are pretty similar, so. Oh well. But uh, my favorite anime battle was. At the end of the episode with the Claire battle, where he was defending the uh, that special area that no one was really oh, allowed to yeah. go to. Yeah, <clears throat> that's right. That was pretty neat. And then shit just started burning. He just was like, "Fuck everything!" Hyper beam. He just got pissed. Oh yeah, dude. Hyper beam was such a cool move for Dragonite. And Dragonite's actually been in the anime quite a bit. Um, there's been four different trainers that have had it, which we know that Ash has gotten one recently. There was Irish in the Gen 5, there was Lance, and then, and this is one of the better ones, Drake. Yeah, but the not the Drake Islands. that you're thinking of, possibly, but it was the Drake from the Orange Islands. It was one of the, I think, first tournaments Ash actually won. Yeah, that was the only one he had before he beat the Indigo Plateau. And they even, like... Even that one was like because it wasn't official. Official, I guess it didn't count. But still, it was it was a pretty good win because that was when Ash has started to actually become a battler. I think, but that was actually a pretty good uh, episode with that one in there because he actually had to strategically plan. Like he had to sacrifice certain people just to do enough damage so his Charizard could have a chance against it. And didn't that dude have a ditto too? That was just fucking annoying. He did. Uh, I could probably pull up his team if I can look it up. And didn't uh, Dragonite absorb Pikachu's electric powers with his antennas? Probably some stupid like that. <laughs> the anime had some pretty stupid stuff to begin with. I, either he absorbed the attack with his antennas or it did super effective damage because he hit the antennas. I don't remember which, which, which one it was. Oh, actually, okay, so uh, his Dragonite defeated Charizard, Squirtle, Tauros... And was finally defeated by a close range thunder from Pikachu. And it had six, it had, it had, it was an illegal Dragonite because it had Hyper Beam, Ice Beam, Dragon Rage, and seven other moves. Really? Damn. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, like he had all these different moves. So he also had a Ditto, an Onyx, a Gengar, a Venusaur, and Electabuzz. That's a fucking dope ass team if you really think about it. Electabuzz! So he only had five Pokemon. And of course, that's because he's like, my last one is my best one. But yeah, that was a pretty good episode because that just showed you how good Dragonite was. Yeah, I mean, he wore Dragonite as a necklace. So it's not just a good Pokemon competitively. It's also very fashionable. And it I mean, is. to be honest, once it got that uh, multi-scale, I mean, <laughs> like, it's just gotten better, better and better. Like, at first it's like, okay... If you can set up rocks, okay, you got a chance. But then it's like, in Gen 8, it's like, oh, hey, we have these boots that will prevent that from happening. And it's like, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no fucking lie either. Um, do you have a best anime battle for Dragonite? Who, me? Jesse, yes. Yeah, I just told you. It was the one against Drake. Oh, okay. What about you, yeah, Stuart? I don't remember a battle in particular. I remember um, a Dragonite battling the Red Gyarados in the Johto series. I think that might have been Lance's one. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if someone knows. Yep. That was it. I remember that. 
I remember that battle from when I was younger, but that would probably have to be my favorite because it's the one I remember. Do you remember the first episode Dragonite was actually shown in? Yeah, that was the Bill episode. And it was like Mystery at the Lighthouse. I think that's... Feet tall. Oh, was it? Was that the massive one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that was one. Was that the one where he caught a Krabby, or was that after? Yeah, Krabby. That was the same okay. episode. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Did you have anything to add on to that? No, I was just like, hey, isn't the one <laughs> you caught the Krabby with? That's it, that's it. <laughs> well, me personally, I think his wings are too fucking small for it to fly. <laughs> So, I don't know, man. Dragonite's fucking sweet. Leave me, leave it alone, bro. Just leave his wings. Oh, alone. I actually know what else is cool is the, uh, uh, what was those other? Was it the Pokemon? It wasn't Pokemon Origins, but it was those like little five to ten minute uh, mini episodes they had. Uh, and they had one where he's uh, finding the uh, Team Rocket headquarters. Oh yeah, he busted that. And he just door. breaks the shit out of everything. Oh, that was so good. Dude, did you know that Dragonite is capable of circling the globe in just 16 hours? That's how fucking fast it is. I can believe that. Its wings are pretty strong. It can move faster than the speed of sound. But they're smaller than his dick. That's what makes Ooh, sense. Smaller. Whoa. Look, it's got a 50-50 male-female ratio, so that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to the women out there. <clears throat> it's also said that Dragonite can... Uh, Constantly flies over immense seas and rescues drowning people. That's kind of yes, cool. guardian of the sea, yeah. guardian of the sea. That's why um uh, Drake from Gen Three started to be a dragon trainer because he was saved from a by a dragonite when he when his ship wrecked. And Damn, for some I didn't reason, know that. he's That's pretty cool. And for some reason, he still wears the same fucking tattered clothing from the shipwreck, which makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> he's a gym leader. That's what happens. No, he's an elite poor person. Whatever, man. You know. It's not the same thing. <laughs> it's not the same thing. All right. It's supposed to be one of the smartest Pokemon. It, it, it's as smart as a human. Well, that ain't saying much. Well, let's <laughs> let's do a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> let's do a li well, especially if you compare it to Ash. But let's do a little bit of biology <laughs> for this thing. Dragonite is a draconic bipedal Pokemon with light orange skin. It has large grayish eyes and a round snout with small nostrils. A pair of long, thin antennas sprout from the top of its head with a small horn set between them. Its striated underbelly, I guess I mean striped, is cream colored yes. and extends from its neck to the tip of its tail, tapering tail. Oh wait, what? From the tip of its long tapering tail, there we go. It has thick arms and legs ending in three claws each. The leg joints are well defined while its arms have a smooth rounded appearance. Dragonite's wings are small relative to its body with tail wings, but it can still fly fast as fuck. And if y'all can't tell by that, I read at a third grade level. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dragonite is very rare in the wild, typically living near the sea, despite it not having a water typing. Some claim that there is an island somewhere in the ocean that y'all see in Pokemon Go that only Dragonites inhabit, and in the past, Outrage was its signature move. Fair enough. So, quick question. His shiny form, yay or nay? Nay. I, I mean, you. I love green, but not on him. I think like, if I just stuck a the pink, green, dude. stuck with the pink, it would have been alright. Honestly, like, honestly, if it would have chose like a light green, like a yellowish green, I think that would have been cool. Oh, no, that's even worse. No. It's like puke color, no. Alright, we're going no. to have to do some Photoshop edits later and figure <laughs> that out. <laughs> do you guys right. play Pokemon, Pokemon Masters? Uh, I have played time. that, yes. I really like yeah. the... Uh... Dragonite Rex on Pokemon Masters. Is Lance it, is really, really good. Okay, it is Lance. <laughs> with both, yeah, it's with been a hot minute um, since I've played that. He's got Gyarados and Dragonite them. now, and they are epic, both of them. I might have to try it out again. It's been a while. Little side thing, yeah. I, oh, it's not I, Masters, it's Master X. Not to be confused with Master Sex. Uh, Master, Master Sex. Sex. Cool. No, I'm annoyed with that game, because it took our name, EML. 
Did it really? Yeah, they, they took Pokemon Masters League and everyone was like, did you rip that off? I was like, no, they ripped us off, but we legally can't get mad at Damn them for it because we don't own Pokemon. <laughs> now we came off. <laughs> So I was like, well, I guess we're, we're, we're the second known PML compared for the people who joined us late. It's whatever. Still the best PML. I don't, I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm not, I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm crying. But, all right. What else y'all got to add to this significant, me- uh, beautiful beast? Uh, I'd say that's about it, honestly. Ooh, that is the shortest topic talk about a Pokemon we've ever had. And this is the first dragon ever made. That's because Morgan's not here. That's because Dragonite doesn't have to do a lot of talking. His actions do the talking for him. Yeah, it'll just smack you around real quick. Well, I guess we can move on from this topic and move on to how he's going to be doing instead of talking as we talk about our teams. All right, guys, thanks for those interesting facts about Dragonite. Now let's go ahead and introduce teams. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my team. Here we go. So to start, I have my Dragonite, uh, nicknamed my wings too small, because I don't see why those wings carry that fat body, but it does. So I went ahead and paired it off with Weakness Policy, Multi-Skill, Outrage, Dragon Dance, Dual Wing Beat, and Earthquake. With 156 HP, 100 attack, and 252 speed, because I really want to take advantage of that weakness policy and multi skill to take a hit. So, certainly, we're going to be doing some damage with that. Now, next, we have Feeling Horny, our Fair Authority. Um, we paired it up with the Rocky Helmet Iron Bars because I love that residual damage we've been getting off lately. And our moves are Stealth Rock, Toxic, Knock Off, and Giga Drain. With max defense, max special attack, and a little bit of special defense, just in case. Next up, we have Emo Cinderella, our Mega Gardevoir. And, of course, it's shiny, so the nickname makes sense. With traceability, you know, just to get something on the Switch, and you never know. And we have Hyper Voice, Calm Mind, Energy Ball, and Psy Shock with its normal max special attack, max speed, and a little bit of special defense added in. This thing is to punch holes and smack things as hard as it can. Then I'll have I'll Suck Your Toes in DD, female, <laughs> with Scarf to catch people off guard because normally in DD is a defensive Pokemon. We went ahead and went with Psychic Surge, Expanding Force, Energy Ball, Psy Shock, and Mystical Fire with the max special attack, max speed, and for defense. And we went modest set on this one to get the most out of our attack. And then second to last, we have Suck My Tail, Milotic. Uh, max special defensive, max HP, a little bit of defense with Flame Orb, Marvel Skill, so we can get all those hits taken and... Due to our moves, we'll be able to prolong the battle with Scald, Protect, Recover, Toxic. Let's get these burns. Let's get these Toxics. Let's get this health back. And hopefully protect from any moves that will do big damage to us. And then lastly, but not leastly, we have My Face Small LOL, Celestila. And knowing (laughs) David likes to bring that goddamn Rillaboom, (laughs) <laughs> um, this is why I brought it. Max defense, max special attack with a little bit of HP with air slash, you could drain, leech seed, protect. Uh, leftovers with beast boost, of course, because that's the only move, the only ability it gets. So that is my team. Let's see how we do with it. Next up, we have Jesse. All right, so my team, I don't have any clever nicknames because... I kind of filled in for a battle this week. So uh, first one is my Dragonite. I gave him leftovers with multi-scale, of course. Uh, Moveset was Haze, Extreme Speed, Roost, and Ice Ice Punch. I'm sorry. Uh, He has 252 in HP and attack and with a little bit of special defense. I built him that way just basically because I knew people were going to try to set up with Dragonite, and this was an effective way of just shutting it down effectively without it getting out of hand pretty much just because of the multi-scale ability. 
Uh, my other Pokemon, it had Tapu Lele. I had Psychic, Calm Mind, Moonblast, and Thunderbolt, and it had a Twisted Spoon just to give it the most uh, power out of Psychic without having to use a Life Orb or Choice Specs. Um, it was max special attack and speed with a little bit of special defense, and it was a Timid, so it was designed to at least try to outspeed stuff. Uh, the other next one is Cinderace. Uh, that one had a Citrus Berry, and that was because I was hoping to proc it off so I could get my Acrobatics off. Um, it also had Pyro Ball, U-Turn, and Sucker Punch, and it was a max attack speed with a little bit of special defense. Um, next one was Skimori with a Rocky Helmet, sturdy ability, of course. Uh, it was Stealth Rock, Whirlwind, Roost, and Iron Head. Uh, max HP and defense with uh, just a tiny bit of speed, just a little bit. Uh, basically, that was the... That was my just-in-case dragon I did get out of hand, because with Sturdy, as long as there was no rocks on the field, it would be able to live anything that dragon I would throw on it, and I could whirlwind it out just in case. Uh, next was Mega Mawile, uh, which had Substitute, Play Rough, Focus Punch, and Ira Head. It was max HP and attack, and just wanted to try something different, and it had... Um, just because I was trying to look at maybe uh, intimidating people even though I didn't have Intimidate as my ability and then be able to do some damage. And then the last one was my Rotom Heat which had Leftovers. Uh, I ran Will-O-Wisp, Volt Switch, Overheat, and Thunderbolt on it. And it was a max speed with uh, Special Attack and Speed maxed out. Uh, this was basically another effective way to shut off Dragonite because if you can burn a Dragonite, you basically make it ineffective. So that is one of the key things about shutting down a Dragonite. It can still get Dragon Dances off or whatnot, but just making sure it can contain the Dragonite is a big, big thing, especially since I know it will be coming this week. All right, next up we have David. All right, so I have I Am Speed, the Dragonite, a weakness policy with multi-scaled so I can get a uh, weakness policy boost without taking too much damage. <clears throat> Got almost max HP, max attack, dragon dance, extreme speed, earthquake, and dual wing beat. Uh, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me and make me lose games, but it's whatever. And then we got Aider Tits off, the Mega Gengar, it's shiny. It's got Shadow Tag, Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, and Dazzling Gleam. It, uh, it's supposed to set up behind the Aurora Veil, which, you know, if if I was paying attention, I would have realized that I had Snow Cloak instead of Snow Warning Nine Tails, which would have helped. <clears throat> got Luke at my ass, the Ferrothorn, which got Iron Barb's ability with leftovers. It's got Stealth Rock, Gyro Ball, Power Whip, and Leech Seed with max defense. Just as a, a wall to do a little bit of damage, chip damage, get the rocks off. <clears throat> then we have Wanker, the Slow King, with an Assault Vest and Regenerator ability. Scald, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Future Sight, just to basically be a pivot for special attackers and stuff like that. And we also have Wilma Dick Fit. The Heatran, Choice Scarf, Eruption, Earth Power, Flame, or uh, Flash Cannon, Magma Storm, with max speed and max special attack. Uh, my team's got no repeating types. That's kind of what I try to aim for when I build. Actually, it does. I'm stupid. It's got two steel types. <laughs> stupid. Stupid. So we'll see how uh, if we can win this tournament. All right, lastly, but definitely not leastly, we have Stuart. All right, so my team started off with Dragonite as well. On your knees. Uh, heavy duty boots, multi-scale, because I figured everyone would bring rocks, but I don't know if anyone did. Um, I just had Dragon Dance, Dual Wing Beat, Earthquake, and Roost. I ran max HP and max speed with four in defense, because I wanted to be a bulky boy. And hopefully it lets me survive some stuff that I wouldn't otherwise. And then I've got uh, Betty Drillzer, the shiny Tapu Lele. I ran Modest Specs, Max Speed, Moonblast, Psychic, Focus Blast, and Thunderbolt. 
And then I ran Harry Anus, the <laughs> Scarfed Infernate. Um, blaze ability, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, Close Combat, U-Turn. I wanted to bring a uh, non-Gen 8 slash Sword and Shield Pokemon, Fire type, and so Infernate was it. And I brought uh, Rota Hottie, the Magnezone, because um, la- I think it was last week, I just had trouble against Skarmory and I hate it, so I thought I'd trap <laughs> it and then bl- blast, um, hopefully blast one with Electrium Z, uh, Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Flash Cannon, and Steel Beam, just in case I needed to take out a type of Ave or something. Uh, I bought my Mega this week was Mega Aerodactyl, Craven Moorhead, uh, Unnerve, Pre Mega, Max Speed, Max Attack, Stone Edge, Ice Fang, Earthquake, and Roost. I uh, outspeed speed most plus one Dragonites, some plus two Dragonites, depending on ability, uh, sorry, nature. And then I've got um, Normous Tits, the Serena, uh, Queenly Majesty ability to stop all those priorities. If there was any. No, uh, no psychic terrain on the field, sorry. And it was uh, max HP, max speed, rapid spin, power whip, U turn, and triple axle to hit those Dragonites. Let's see how it goes. Oh man, all right. With all those scary ass fucking teams up and ready to go, let's go ahead and see how they fare in battle. All right, guys, now that we talked about our teams, let's go ahead and put them to the test. Jesse, it is your show here. Let's go. Okay, so first up we have Joe versus David. So Joe, which is Zamora Gaming, has brought Dragonite, Ferrothorn, Gardevoir, and DDD female, right? Yes. Is that the female? Okay. Yes, it is. Um, I can't, I can't, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, now I can see it. Um, Melodic and Celesteela. David, GS Kamikaze, has brought Dragonite, Gengar, Slowking, Ferrothorn, Ninetales, Alola, and Heatran. So some spicy picks. We're seeing a lot of offense on this team with a, a little bit of defense. So this should be interesting a match. Let's get it. Get along. Okay, David's got I see ya dick. His nine tails <laughs> versus I'll suck your toes, which is in DD. <laughs> Best leads ever. <laughs> Oh, and we got an expanding force that takes out a big chunk of. Oh, you didn't oh, bring no. out. His nine tails did That's not the have the wrong nine tails. Oh, that man. is that... the most depressing thing I think I've ever seen. Nine tails is basically <laughs> wasted. David's getting six would baby. Spanding force finishes <laughs> nine tails. If I six O him, I'm gonna start nicknaming the Pokemon Six O David. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna get six O. I'm not gonna get six O. I'm not getting six O, bro. So, Fuck you, man. I'm gonna get five O, but not six O. <laughs> <sighs> what do I do? What you got bitch. What do you got bringing in? Oh, and he brings in Ferrothorn, which is Luke at my ass. <laughs> <Luke>. <laughs> <laughs> I literally think you just write this stuff. Oh, and Joe brings in his Celesteela, my face, Sam LOL. It's supposed to be my face, small LOL. Small LOL. <laughs> well, you can't spell. Oh well, anyways, Sorry, uh, he I takes a, one word. Takes a gyro ball, which does nothing, and in comes Heatran. Will my dick fit? <laughs> and he takes an air slash, which brings it to about eighty-four percent from Celesteela. Get it right. It's Wilma dick fit. <sighs> Wilma dick fit. And there no comes Milotic, suck my tail that takes an <laughs> eruption. Oh, and he gets burned from a flame orb. Big salty. And then comes Ferrothorn that takes a skull that does little to no damage. What? All right. And then comes Joe's Ferrothorn uh. feeling horny, not feeling thorny, feeling horny. <laughs> Uh, David tried to use the Leech Seed, but it didn't work, so he brings in his Heatran while Joe sets up with a Stealth Rock. So after the first KO, it's been kind of a consistent check. I'm trying to get all my nicknames out there. Ah, here, we go. <laughs> here comes Gengar. Not saying that one. No, stop. Ader Titsaw. Ader Titsaw. Joe brings in Melodic. Oh, 
Oh boy. God, guys. This is what something I would expect a, like a second grader to come up with. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Trust that's me. Nice. I read at a well, third grade level, so my second grade nickname is. In comes I'll suck toes. Mega Ginga. Oh, and he wow. Mega Gengars. I don't, I don't and nasty to... plots. Ooh, but he's scurfed. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm just bro, timid. Bro, yeah, you are. You're well, scarred, bro. Shut up. I'm just timid. What do you mean? I mean, he sucks toes. <laughs> you gotta be a little timid. And he uses a... He switches the Slow King and takes an expanding force that brings it down to about three quarters of HP left. And he brings in Feeling Horny. And David Blame sets too. up a future site. And he uses a Flamethrower. Ooh, oh, Feeling gotta, Horny gets knocked out. Gotta. And... No 6 0 this time. We're it's at 5 happening. 5. And Zamora brings in Bumblebee. I mean, my wing's too small. And he dragon dances <laughs> and eats up an ice beam. And oh, it's a weakness policy. And oh, the future! Oh, 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 let's go! Oh, dragon oh. is getting ready to go, and it was going to the grave. In comes Emo Cinderella, which is Gardevoir. Let's see if he's. Gardevoir can do anything to turn this around. Oh, we got the we got the Mega uses Energy Ball does brings it to down to a third and Slow King uses a Scald does about a third of health to Gardevoir as well. It must be tempting to switch into Furo here. This sucks. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking something. Uh, in comes Heatran and takes a Hyper Voice to take it down to about half. Well, I, I was I actually thinking the two people <laughs> that are battling shouldn't be on here, so whoever commentates can actually call plays and it won't affect the battle. <laughs> oh, look, That's Suck My Tail took a Flash Cannon. It's at, at half. Ooh. And... Oh, and Ferrothorn, David Ferrothorn eats the Scald and basically sucks it all up. In comes Celesteel, though, for Joe, who takes a Leech Seed. My face small, lol. <laughs> Why my face so small? And he uses Air Slash that makes oh. Ferrothorn flinch, but it doesn't do a whole lot. And the end result is it only does 10% damage. Another Air Slash, another flinch. Oh my god! What is this? Wait a second, that's not a Celesteela, that's a Toga Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no three shit. for three? Nope. We got a Stealth Rock out from from Ferrothorn. I don't know why I forgot about Future Sight. That sucks. No, I dude, I would have <laughs> forgotten it too. In comes Slow King. It's down to a bath health and eats a air slash. It's still in good shape. Oh, and Celesteela puts a Leech Seed and eats a Flamethrower. It's getting dangerously low. And they're just sucking each other off with Leech Seed. <laughs> <laughs> Celesteela is at 20%. Gets a Giga Drain. Gets it to about a third. And we got a Future Sight from Slow King. Oh, in comes Heatran, and we got a Giga Drain that takes it down to about a third. But the Leech Seed basically negates that damage. Oh, we got a Flash Cannon. He oh. predicted the switch. It didn't happen, but the Future Sight finishes off Celesteela. Joe's down to three Pokemon to David's five. What you know. gonna send in, bro? I have no I fucking idea what to do. <laughs> you know what to do. Do I? You know. Oh, in comes Emo Cinderella. I'm guessing that's not what I was supposed to do. I don't think that was what you were supposed to do, honestly. <laughs> oh, and eats a flash cannon. Brutal. Oh, that's oh. A scarf. Yeah, I was just about to say. That's it smells like it. In comes suck my tail. Oh, he sticks in with the flash can. He ain't no bitch. But that will cost <laughs> Heatran's life. And it's 4-2 to two now. Militoke's dangerously low. Oh. 
In comes Slow King, who's about at little under half health. Oh, and we see a Toxic from Militech while Slow King sets up the future site. And Militech uses a, a nicely timed recover to bring it back to about half health while Slow King uses a Scald. Okay, let's see. I'm going to make a prediction. Oh, no. I'm going to make a prediction. Oh, no. Okay, I was half right, maybe? Oh, and Militech uses a Protect, but it doesn't work. And he gets hit by Future Sight and is down to 9%. And David brings out Ferrothorn, which forces Joe to switch to his Sucking Toes. Oh, and he misses with a Ferrothorn Power God Whip. Damn it. That was pretty brutal. Let's see. Oh, and a Mystical Fire oh, no. takes out Ferrothorn. Oh, it's down. We're down to 2-3, to three, but... I am speed, Dragonite comes out and oh no, that's brutal. Stealth Rock takes out its multi-scale ability and in comes Militech who dies to rocks instantly and we Great see the job. Dragon Dance. Yeah. It all comes down to this. Can Indeedy pull out something or is Dragonite too quick? Ha! I'll suck your toes if you're bringing this back. <laughs> oh, we got oh, a Dynamax. No. We forgot about Dynamaxing. Didn't we? <laughs> we I, I didn't forget. I just couldn't do it. And that's the game. Dragonite wins it for David. He wins 3-0. I got greedy with the Dragon Dance and got hit by a Future Sight. That sucks. But oh, well. <laughs> GG, man. GG. GG. All right. Now it's Jesse versus Stew Dog 101. Okay. All right, let's Stuart? do this. Sorry? You too good for us, Stuart? You didn't feel like talking? No, no, I'm I'm right here. He was just was listening just, to I, the... I was listening to the commentary. What more do you, what more do you want me to say? Something! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, let's, let's see. Just waiting on the invite. Yeah, I'm sending her in. Uh, All right, wait. I'm, I'm no longer fighting David round one. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, you'd rather lose in the finals? Man, man. Yes, oh. I'd rather lose in the finals. <laughs> nah, I'd rather lose Ooh, round one. Nah, I'm just fucking. Fuck that. I'm just fucking with you. I'm tired of losing in the finals. <laughs> Wait, you made it there? All the time, and I always lose. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> All right, you guys gonna battle or what? Nah, they're gonna jerk each other off. I had a brain fart. I sent it. Did I get all my Pokemon out there? Yes, you did. I think so. Mm. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah they you, all got you, killed. Yeah, you lost. Um, can you send me a correct battle format, please? Wait. National AG. Yeah, he sent me a random battle. Oh, did I? Stop okay. Me. No, I, I had to switch something. That's probably why. That's where the brain fart came in. <laughs> Alright, now I get to announce here. We have on GS Gold side, which is Jesse. He has Dragonite, Tapu Lele, Cinderace, Skarmory, Mawile, and Rotom Heat. And on Stew Dog side, he has Dragonite, Tapu Lele, I guess they copied each other's team, <laughs> Infernape, Magnazone, Aerodactyl, and Serena. Let's see who they lead off with. It's funny, because I, I was going to use Mika Mawile, and I decided against that with Mega Aerodactyl and Pit. Oh, interesting. Sucker Punch. Alright, so it's a Rotom Heat versus Graven Moorhead. <laughs> or Craven Moorhead. He actually is like, wait, wait, uh, uh. So Aerodactyl is out against Mega the Aerodactyl is going to fuck him up. It's definitely Mega Aerodactyl. It has guys. to be a, I mean, I, I'm not going to predict things. I'm an announcer. But we have Rotom <laughs> versus an Aerodactyl, and it's a lead Rotom, so we know what that means. Do we? Most of Do you? 90% of the time, yeah. It's a nasty plot set, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to give anything away, no, but I'm pretty sure it's a physical one. I'm pretty sure it's a physical one. If you had listened, if you had listened to our team building, you would have heard me say that. Oh, it's certainly a flare blitzing Rotom. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be goes. sweet. 
Well, shit, now I don't know what to do, because you guys have put the shits up me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Craving more head. You craving more head? You gotta do an attack. Oh, well. YOLO. Oh, Skarmory comes in. Mega craving more head. Gets off a stone edge. Does about a third damage to that Skarmory coming in. Jesse did not want to nickname his Pokemon anything special, so. But Skarmory goes ahead and gets some rocks off of Ronda Hadi. Because you is, could say I got my rocks off. <laughs> <laughs> he got his rocks off against Ronda Hadi. He got Magnet zone. pulled in. He's he's stuck. He can't get out of here. All right. Ooh. Uh, Magna Zone is stuck. Well, I guess Skarmory is stuck. She wrapped her legs uh, around. He's him. stuck with me. And he he's went, stuck with me. Ronda Hadi wrapped her legs around that Skarmory, and. Pulled it in with Magnet Pool to get that baby in her and got that Gigavolt Havoc off. Rotom comes back in against Ronda Hottie. So let's see what happens here. Hmm, what you gonna do here? <coughs> Pull switch. What, what? What happened? Nah, free enough. What happened? <laughs> happened? We're not doing hidden power, are we? No. No. Okay, I thought so. Thank because God. my hidden power rock, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> he just oh, he eats the overheat! Ooh, overheat yeah. takes out Ronda Hottie, yeah, but it was, it was too hot for Ronda Hottie. I was too I was too scared. I, I, I'd rather do more damage because I thought you were going to try to bring in like Infernape or something. Alright, Dragonite comes in on your knees. And Rotom is sitting there at <laughs> negative special attack. Oh, but gets a burn with the Will-O-Wisp! And on your knees goes for the dragon dance. You could dance on your knees, but you're burned, so what can you do? <laughs> it just sounds Exist. like you dance on your knees with extra steps. <laughs> so it is not a scarf Rotom, so from what we can tell. And he gets a double dragon dance to negate the burn, but he's still going to get the damage. Rotom goes for the Volt Switch. On your knees is sitting there at neutral damage. GS Gold sends out Dragonite. And on your knees is sitting there with the double speed, but it Dynamax and goes for the max airstream on Dragonite here, but it takes it pretty well and goes oh for the haze. Oh my God! Pro haze Dragonite. A haze Whoa. Dragonite. Haze Whoa. left over Dragonite from GS Gold. He is not that trying to win like, with this thing. That smells like poos right there. On your that knees smells like is he knew what she was doing. On your knees is wondering what the fuck it's gonna do. And it goes for another max airstream, gets its speed up, but Dragonite Roost! So it is a Roost Haze with leftovers. It is a bulky boy. On your knees Basically, still has that plus speed, so it will win any speed tie. But it switches out to Tapu Lele. And gets off the Psychic Surge. Betty Drizzler? Or <laughs> Betty Drillzer? Betty Drillzer. <laughs> Betty Drillzer is there. Betty did. Dragonite went for the haze, but due to the switch out, it does not matter. What is Betty Drillzer going to do to this Dragonite? Probably Drillzer, huh? <laughs> Betty Drillzer with a moon blast. Someone's but, eating it. But does he predict? Oh, Mawile switches in. And he goes for the psychic. Oh, my God. Mawile is sitting at 3% under psychic terrain thanks to Betty Drillzer. Mawile, let's see what it can do here. Certainly can't sucker punch. Oh. It mega evolves and takes the psychic and dies. Very anticlimactic. <laughs> Betty Jules <laughs> Betty is sitting there waiting for the next opponent to come out. <clears throat> and GS Gold's Tapu Lele comes out here. So we got a shiny Betty Drillzer versus a regular Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele. Exactly. What? Scarfy scarf. Oh. Better hope not. Oh, Betty drills her. Oh, and it's a calm mind Tapu Lele on GS Gold side. And Betty drills her just goes where the psychic does over Ooh. a third of damage. Almost half, that's, but not quite. That's a specs. That's a specs Lele. It's got to be. It's got to be. How do you know? It's got to be, dude. It's under psychic terrain. It's Unless it's a psychic, it could be a psychic spoon or something like, or a twisted spoon. It's, but... under, it's under psychic terrain. It's boosted. I don't know, man. 
Calm Mind, Resisted, Specs. All right, now Stuart is sweating because David's giving out his tactics. <laughs> <laughs> Betty drills her with another psychic while Tapu Lele continues to set up. I'll probably die here. That's just my prediction. Hmm. What do I say? What, what do you he say? Going to These do? nuts. These nuts. That's gross. Why would you say that? Don't sack. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sack. just gonna. I'm just gonna hit the button. Oh, he dynam. Oh, you can't Dynamax a legend. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you sh technically, you are disqualified. <laughs> God damn it, Jesse. Okay, just I'm switch good. out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so used to playing a certain way that I forget about that. So no, I no, just qualify fine. myself. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Oh, that was. You great. like that Dragonite though? <laughs> that was a great Dragonite set. That was a great Ugh. Dragonite set. Sorry for that, uh, D Max Lele. Sorry you forgot, Jesse. That was, that could have turned the whole battle around. Did you have any answer for Mega Aerodactyl, though? No, not really, but I mean, I could have Dynamaxed something else. Like Dragonite? That's kind of what I was thinking. But I didn't know what attacking moves you had. Ice Punch. <clears throat> well, Jesse... Is, not bad. Jesse claims the record for being the first person eliminated on the podcast. <laughs> <Or> dis <laughs> disqualified. Disqualified? Yeah, disqualified. So I guess the finals, due to disqualification, is Stu Dog versus David. Oh, uh, here we go again. Oh, let's go, bud. Here we, here we, here we go again. Stu Dog. I uh, already don't want to fight his Kamikaze. team, honestly. At least he didn't get to see all my Pokemon. That's good. That's yeah, good. you saw literally everything I had, so <laughs> it's like it's no big deal. You're welcome, Stu. All right, so GS Kamikaze versus Stu Dog. We have. G.S. Kamikaze with his normal set of Dragonite, Gengar, Slow King, Ferrothorn. Uh, he probably fixed his uh, Nine Tails and he Oh, I did it. Can I do that? No, Can I no, do that? Uh, no. Let me no, fix it. No. <laughs> You're in the battle now. It's over. Look, if I can I disqualify myself, you can use a janky Nine Tails. All right, and Stu Dog. <laughs> At least it's your deck. <laughs> has his Dragonite, Tapu Lele, Infernape, M Magnazone, Mega Aerodactyl, and Serena. Let's see how this battle turns out. Who do they lead? Man, that was a bonehead move on your part, David. You didn't fix your God. nine tails. Uh, it would have been such a nice set. I'm so stupid. All right, so Wilma Dick Fit is going against Harry Anus. Oh, Harry Anus. I didn't get to see you. <laughs> Harry Anus. Oh, my bad. I said it out loud and I did not catch that. Well, my dick fit in the hairy anus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gengar just ate he an earthquake. Oh, he, and like... Bernape goes for the hit and Gengar goes down. I thought he was going for the fighting. That was super Thought he was going to CC. Thought he was going to CC. All right. I am speed goes in against hairy anus. Let's see what happens here. Probably a U-turn. Stop it. Stop it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't run U-turn on your Infernape? Look, he could run an Ice Punch, I bet. I don't remember what moves this guy has. That's the only problem. Well, he is it speed, only, so... It was, only, it was only five minutes ago, and I don't remember. I mean, I don't remember <laughs> either. All I remember is Nine Tails was like, hey, do. Will he go for the attack here, or will he predict the switch and go for Dragon Dance? We will find out shortly. All right. Betty Drillzer goes in against Iron Speed. He predicts the switch, goes for the Dragon Dance. And Betty Drillzer needs to take a hit. Makes you wonder, what kind of moves does Dragonite have? Will he stick in, or will he have something up his sleeve to take down the Lele? Will he stay in against Betty Drillzer, or will he switch out? Nobody um, knows. If he switches, he does not have coverage. Uh, I think he well, could still tank a couple of hits, so. You know what, Jesse? Is he going to D-Mac? We're going to go comment see a max. this one. I think it's so. Gonna be, it's going to be Max Steel Spike. Oh, oh Ronda Hottie spike. comes in. I am speed Dynamaxes and hits Ronda Hottie as hard as it can, but it does only less than a third of damage, probably a fourth. 
No, oh, less than a fourth. So he did have something for uh, Tepalele, so that was a good switch by Stewart. But unfortunately, oh, he had awesome. something else, so he was able to take it out with the Max Quake. And I Am Speed does have coverage with the ground move and also gets the special defense boost, which is not in Sue Dog's favor here. No, not at all. And he also has a, a bonus speed thanks to that flying move. I also think he's got... I have a hunch what his fourth move is going to be. I don't want to say it just because... For competitive integrity. <laughs> All right, I don't Harry like Anus is in. Is it sashed? Oh, it goes for the. Oh, there you go. It is faster, so it's definitely scarf. So I am Jesus. speed. Get some. Uh, Dang, very good that knowledge on that Harry speed. Anus. That's impressive. <clears throat> and on your knees comes in. And gets himself a plus one speed again. So he is times three. So on your knees, mm. stuck in terrain. Can't go for extreme speed if it wanted to. And I am speed set up to tear through Stu Dog's team. Oh, oh they're you, not on the ground. You extreme forgot about speed that. Goes off. I did. But it wasn't that. enough. He got a roost off and he's recovered more HP than he had. So. Alright, so it looks like Iron Speed does not have a dragon type move. He also does not have an ice move, which was what I was guessing for maybe the fourth the fourth attack. Alright, Tapu Lele comes in. And oh Iron Speed goes for the Dragon Dance again and it is plus <laughs> four. Oh uh, God, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Oh Bay Closer Oh takes one of the dual wings, but not the second. I, I, I had to try. Craven Moorhead comes in and let's see if it could touch I am speed speed. Nah, he's too fast now. Oh, he goes for the extreme speed, but you what? take it very well. What? Ice Man comes off and knocks out what? I am speed. What? Oh my god, this is Did a you pivotal misclick? moment. Did you misclick? Dude, I only had dual wing beat, dual wing beat earthquake, and earthquake. extreme speed. Wow, due oh. to poor prep, GS Kamikaze lost his Dragonite. Oh, I, I was thinking you had. St oh man, I thought you had Iron Head. I don't know why I All thought right. that. I wanted to. Look at but it's Luke at my ass comes in against Craven Morehead. Oh, this battle is just kind of <laughs> intensely more intriguing. And we it are did. sitting at a four and four. Craven Morehead stays in, goes for the earthquake, Ooh. but Gyro. Uh, oh, I didn't even, didn't even didn't even think about Gyro. I'll be honest. My bad. Should have switched to Serena. Now I'm gonna be. David does have more Pokemon. Stewart might be able to pull something because he does still have Dynamax, which could be crucial. I bet. Yeah, I, I bet, would say so, I man. I bet Stu Dog's like, oh, fuck, I do. <laughs> 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 and he doesn't have a Tapu Lele to Dynamax, so he is safe to go. All right, still one more turn of Psychic Terrain. Harry Anus comes in with the, with the, what you call it? With the advantage over Luke at my ass. This was an intense uh, kind of move for David because he had to try to predict what he might have to switch into. He switched into Soul King, which was a good choice. Stewart did Dynamax, but he did use a Max Knuckle to at least get the ooh, attack bonus. Ooh, the but he did have the U-turn coverage and takes out that Slow King with the Max Flutterby. This is where it gets intense. Can right. he make good switches and get good calls? And even still, this battle is heavily favored towards a team Whoa. that is weak to too fat. Five. Too well, fat. Well, my dick fit still needs to try to take out Harry Anus, but Harry Anus comes off with the max knuckle and takes out. And this is GG. I'm pretty wins. sure this could be game because he's got Ferrothorn and Nine Tails. And neither of them are going to touch it. So that was an impressive comeback from Stewart, all because <laughs> Dragon Eye no didn't have a move for Aerodactyl. <laughs> this is a big, big play right here. Surprised he didn't go for Beautiful. the fire move, knowing that Ninetales can resist the knuckle. It wouldn't survive two, though. <clears throat> but we'll see here. Well, he only needs to go. You only need to go for one. He's, he's gonna attack. He don't have Aurora though. Yep. Well, let's, I see suck, this, man. let's see if this plus two Harry Anus knocks out this. I see your dick. 
I'm in, tr I'm in trouble if it doesn't. I see your dick goes into hairy anus. And it is... <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny because I'm pretty sure that's how the match started off, and now we're at full circle. No, it. Uh, well, my dick fit was into hairy anus. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. <laughs> oh, and G -G. the close combat does enough to I see your dick and down. Did goes you even have a fire punch? A mm -hmm. What's your name? I had uh, flavors. Ah. Uh. Well, now Stew Dog wins his second week in a row. He can go ahead and decide on. What Pokemon we talk about after Butterfree? Oh, man, this is this is getting tough now, isn't it? I'm gonna there's, say there's lots of Gen One Pokemon to talk about. I know. I'm gonna say Muck. All right. Ooh. Holy Muck! We're Did you know about Muck's all backwards is? Come. Yes. <laughs> I was just gonna be quiet on that one just to see if anyone would get it. Oh, I got it. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone gets it. Everyone gets it, Jesse. I made a funny. <clears throat> oh, alrighty, guys. As Man. you can see, uh, we displayed the Dragonites. We had some uh, Haze Roost sets. We had some all-out attacking sets. And we also had some that had no dragon moves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, I'm going to say that's actually okay, because I think we all knew coming in here that all of us would be running a fairy type, so it honestly didn't make sense to bring a dragon, because unless that's we were true. setting up, we weren't going to switch to a dragon. Oh, definitely. So. Well, that is GG's to Stu Dog 101. Stuart. GG's. Um, picks. GG's. What'd you pick again? Muck. 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 All right. So that's regular Muck, not alone Muck. <clears throat> so... We're good to set for the week after Butterfree. So we will see you guys next time.